Hi, my name is Walona Walker. I have been attending Hope Point for four years. When I first started coming to the church, um, I struggled financially. I actually struggled financially for years. I would accumulate debt, pay it off, and accumulate it again. So I wasn't raised to be necessarily a good steward of my money. I was raised to just be a hard worker. So I decided I wanted to do something different. So I decided that um, I wanted to make a financial commitment to my church. So when I got my taxes, I said I was going to donate a certain percentage to the church. And during that time, COVID hit. So I was concerned of making that commitment because I didn't know where I stood financially with my job because at that time everything shut down. Um, I prayed on it and God spoke to me and he was like, this is a commitment that you said you was going to make and I felt like I owed it to him to make this commitment. So I went on my phone and before I could think twice, I sent my, my commitment pledge. Um, and that was the day that everything started shifting. After making that commitment pledge, I decided that um, I wanted to be a better steward of my money. And luckily, um, through the Connect Group, they were offering a financial class. So my first financial class that I took with Sarah and Randy Rocamp was a singles financial class. And I, that was my foundation, and it taught me how to budget, to look at my spending habits. But the biggest thing that was different was they put biblical principles to match the lesson. I had taken classes and had been given advice in the past, but never had been tied to my spirituality. And doing so, I felt more of a commitment and a guidance and accountability for my finances. From there, I decided to take the second class, which was a longer class, and it went deeper into teaching me my financial biblical principles. And in doing so, I started realigning my finances, I started being more disciplined, and my life financially changed. By 2022, I had paid off a large chunk of my credit card debt. Um, I was also um, tied into the church on a regular basis as well as strengthening my discipline with my spending. The biggest thing that was over top of my head was student loans. I had private student loans and federal loans. Um, I was able to get into a program through my job to pay my federal loans. However, my private student loans were through the roof and they were unwilling to work with me. Um, so constantly I stayed in prayer about it and during the whole time I never stopped my financial giving to my church. And months later, I was able to get an offer where my private student loan said that they would make me an offer to cut a significant amount if I was willing to commit to the lesser of two. So I, again, I talked to Sarah and Randy. I called them my financial fairy godparents, and they were able to give me a lot of good advice and things to look at. The biggest thing that they told me was do not get discouraged. So I kept going back with different offers and looking at my options. So the last offer that I was able to get was actually what I had prayed for. I had always prayed to God that I was like, I do not mind paying what I borrow. I just didn't want to pay all the years of interest and fees. And looking over my paperwork, the offer that was made was actually what I had borrowed minus the years of fees and interest and all the other stuff that accumulated and Sarah helped me notice that and when I saw that I knew that this was from God and God had oversaw this step and that I had went through this process to learn to be a better steward of my money. A part of me getting my finances together was not just about me but it was also about me being in a place where I could bless others and where also my family could learn from my financial discipline using the biblical principles. Again, if it was not for having a connect group about finances and having the road camps in my life and as well having Hope Point and being spiritually grounded, um, I would not be in the place that I am now. I wanted to share the story to let people know that when you have financial struggles, never give up, never lose hope continue to be a good steward of your money and pray. 
Um, this is Walona Walker, and this is my God story. <laughs>